so, I decided to just basically just do this random review video reviewing, you know, a bunch of Halloween uh, specials, etc., you know, so yeah, and, you know, originally, uh, uh, today, uh, there were supposed to be, uh, two, uh, special, uh, reviews, you know, part of the Halloween movie review, and, uh, me and Little Blue, we were supposed to review Halloween and The Shining, but, of course, uh, that's, that's not, you know, that can't, that, that's, that's been canceled because, I've still been sick, so, yeah, so I'm just doing this, so, yeah, so, let's begin, so, yeah, so, just be, as I said, just be reviewing a bunch of random Halloween specials, as I said, you know, so, first of all, with some of the, uh, DreamWorks Halloween specials, there's, of course, uh, Monsters vs. Aliens, uh, Atta you know, the Mutant Pumpkins, you know, that one. Um, yeah, this one was was not bad. I mean, uh, because with uh, Monsters vs. Aliens, everybody, you know, because I remember reading this on its IMDb page, you know, that, you know, fans have been demanding for a sequel to Monsters vs. Aliens, and I don't think it's that too bad for there being a sequel, because, you know, look at what the movie was like. It just, it's, it'd be perfect for, for another, se for, for a sequel, but, of course, we had some uh, TV specials, uh, you know, of mostly the Halloween ones, and we even had a TV show of that on Nickelodeon. Do you guys remember that? Yeah, I remember watching a couple of, a couple of episodes of that, so... But, yeah, with uh, the attack of... Well, not, well, the word, the, the word attack is another, but mutant, the mutant pumpkins from outer space... Um, I thought was not wasn't that bad because I remember actually getting that I I think it was at my lo one of my local stores either Target or Walmart and it was like also uh like uh you know that th you know that thing where like they be two DVDs would be taped together or something like that you know well that I because I you know it was that and Scared Shrekless so I got both of those and uh, with uh, Monsters vs Aliens it's it was actually. Uh, not that bad because, like, uh, with this, with the opening to to it, because like these, this, uh, this UFO comes in to Earth and basically empties out their sewage or something like that, you know, and dumps them on the, uh, empties them out on the pumpkins, and which causes the pumpkins to turn into like mutants and monsters and such, you know, like mutant alien pumpkins, if you know what I mean. Um, and throughout the, uh, throughout the special, like, cause even, um, with some of the characters, because, like, uh, you know, um, uh, Susan, Link, Dr. Cockroach, and Bob, they'll be going out, you know, doing trick-or-treating or whatever, you know, celebrating Halloween, having a good time, and even with Dr. Cockroach PhD, like, one thing with him is that, you know, cause as a child, you know, he, he had a, he has, a, like, I guess he had an upset, he has an obsession, obsession or something with one, uh, Halloween treat or piece of candy, and that's a swirly pop, um, and, uh, even with Link, because he gets mistaken, like, say, for Kermit the Frog and Shrek, uh, that's funny, and, uh, even with, um, uh, Insectosaurus, like, I remember, like, even, and, and Insectosaurus dresses up as Elvis, actually, even, even Bob is acknowledging, you know, because, like, saying, Elvis, you know, I, I forget how he puts it, but, you know, um, but, yeah, and also, because there was a, a follow-up to that, and that was what was left of the, from the mutant pumpkins, you know, the gooey stuff, you know, uh, it now turned a bunch of carrots into mutants, you know, attack of the living carrots, whatever it's called, and, uh, it just centers around, like, say, Susan's parents, um, the general, uh, I forget the general's name already, yeah. but, uh, we also, of course, have Bob, uh, Dr. Cockroach, and Link, you know, Susan and, and Insectosaurus, they don't appear in this, it's just them, and, uh, it's like, even at one point, uh, the general and doc the doctor and link they get they get possessed or something by the carrots you know and we we get a backstory because bob he just he, he can't stand carrots because when he was little like uh you know a little blob toddler or baby you know like he he had been fed carrots all the time so you know there's a little flashback of him being of him being fed you know of 
him being fed of carrots, you know, so... And he's forced to eat the carrots, because that's the only way to defeat the carrots. But, yeah, those uh, those two uh, monsters versus aliens Halloween specials, they were okay. They were okay. Not bad, so... Okay, and next up, uh, a couple of a couple more uh, of the DreamWorks Halloween specials. Now we dive right into the Shrek the the Shrek Halloween specials. Um, uh, Shrek's version of Thriller, I wasn't too bad. Uh, you don't even have say the main cast, the original cat, the the voices of the characters like Mike Myers, Cameron Diaz, Eddie Murphy, not even Antonio Banderas doing the voices of those characters. Um, but uh, Overall, because it's not that bad, because like uh, they 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 leave a movie theater because like apparently they were seeing uh saw uh the sound of music, you know, and like you know Shrek did not enjoy because literally it's on it's Halloween it's Halloween night and they go see that movie and no one Shrek yeah, um and then of course you know Donkey he sings Thriller and um. And what's cool is that we get we get the appearances of some of the uh, other some of of all the villains of Shrek, you know, from Farquaad, the fairy godmother, Charming, and and of course Rumpelstiltskin. We even get say like uh, we get the we get the appearance of uh, the appearances of Thelonious, uh, um, the uh, Mongo, yeah, Mongo from Shrek Two, and uh, even uh, King Harold. Uh, but yeah, so, um, but yeah, I mean, uh, uh, Shrek's version of Thriller was not that bad, and even the Piper, because he's, he's the one doing the dance, he's the one that's controlling the dance moves, because on his flute, you know, he sets it to hands, you know, making everyone dance, so that's pretty clever. Um, but yeah, and also another, uh, Shrek Halloween special, this time, uh, the Pig Who Cried Wolf, and this one wasn't too bad because it stars the pigs and the wolf, and clearly, because uh, The Pig Who Cried Wolf is clearly a a parody of Alfred Hitchcock's Rare Window, so, because you have one of the pigs in a wheelchair, you know, with a broken leg, and he looks through a telescope, you know, uh, so yeah, that pretty much sum- summons it up. Even with the wolf, like, he transforms, you know, because with the wolf he transforms he transforms from himself to this uh lady uh i can't really remember um yeah i really can't remember that much but you know uh but anyways so yeah so the shrek halloween specials the other two shrek halloween specials they were they were okay and not bad um but yeah so anyways uh okay now we die we jump right into a couple of uh, nickelodeon halloween specials now we come to uh we come to back at the barnyard. I only I only remember I know there's been a couple of Halloween uh episodes of Back at the Barnyard, but I I can only remember one and that is The Haunting. And then this one because uh like Pig, he gets possessed by this uh rabbit named Mr. Fluffy and even like summons all the other uh animals like there's a parrot, there's a fish and a bowl and a cat, you know. And that that phrase that they say, "pocus de cavra," if I'm saying that, if I, I think that's how you say it, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was okay. I do remember watching that, and because uh, along with that, it was the uh, was the uh, the the episode with uh, Bigfoot. Yeah, so I remember because on Nickelodeon, like the promos for upcoming uh, Back in the Barnyard episodes, and even say when, you know, it was announced that Bigfoot was appearing in Back of the Barnyard, so, yeah, uh, but anyway, so, yeah, so, I really, and as I said, I really can't remember that much on the other, on the other Back of the Barnyard Halloween episodes, I only remember the, the haunting, and that's it, so, anyways, moving on, uh, the iCarly episode, I Scream on Halloween, that was a pretty good one, because, like, uh, Carly, Sam, and Freddy, because they go into this, like, abandoned and also ha- supposedly haunted room, uh, I can't remember the name of the room, but, uh, with the numbers that is, but, you know, um, but yeah, this, the, it was a, it was a pretty good one, and for it being the first, uh, iCarly Halloween episode, uh, and also, because with Spencer, he doesn't have any Halloween candy, and he needs to, f- he, just pulls out a bunch of random stuff and gives gives to the kids. So you know, 
that was that was funny and the voice of mrs potato head making an appearance in that in her it, making an, making an appearance in that episode was she was pretty good um also because with lubert you know because he says you know happy hanukkah you know and they're correcting him saying it's 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 happy halloween just you know well it's lubert so what can you expect so um but anyways and also that that uh the other the other i carly halloween episode i half a ween yeah, that one was okay, because, um, I mean, I don't know, because, like, uh, I guess creative in some ways, I mean, celebrating Halloween even though it hasn't arrived yet, you know, uh, and with, uh, Neville appearing in this, and, like, he kind of goes back to being kind of evil and such, whatever, you know, uh, because they, they basically, they failed, uh, they failed for him being good or anything like that, because, you know, uh, but yeah, I Half a Ween was, was okay, and I'm, I even remember, because that, that episode even aired, uh, 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 at the time of Halloween, so, you know, but anyways, so, um, okay, so, uh, what else, what else, what else, what else am I missing, I think, well, okay, because, like, uh, some of those Cartoon Network Halloween specials, I really can't remember that much, like, I know there was one, say, of the Grim, the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, uh, I think I remember that, and, uh, wasn't there one, say, of, like, oh, I don't know, say, Chowder or Flapjack? Maybe they're, maybe they, they're probably, they probably, they probably were, but I just can't remember, and as you guys can see in the video, so... Uh, but, of course, we all know, because, uh, on Cartoon Network, they, they aired those, uh, Scary Godmother, uh, uh, Halloween specials, those Scary Godmother movies, you know, TV movies, whatever, and yet, for some reason, uh, I, I remember reading this, like, uh, they stopped airing up to, uh, 2014, and I don't understand why, why did they, why they, why did Cartoon Network stop airing those? I mean... They're great! I love them, and I've reviewed them already, if you guys remember, so... But yeah, I just don't know. Even the Nostalgia Critic, he talked about... Uh, he reviewed the first one. I, I would love for him to review the second one, Jimmy's Revenge. So, he better, so... But, uh, yeah, so... Um, but yeah, so the Scary Godmother m movies on Cartoon Network... Yeah, those were good. And some of the Disney Channel... Some of the ones on Disney Channel, like, we all, of course... With Jesse, there was The Whining, you know, clearly it's a parody of, uh, The Shining, and, uh, their, uh, Phineas and Ferb, they had a couple of, they had a couple of their Halloween specials, um, what else am I missing, uh, well, I mean, that's all I can think of, so, you know, uh, for Disney, that is, but, uh, oh yeah, cause, like, here's another thing, this is, I guess you could say this could be a Halloween, uh, related episode, like, Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, you know, uh, they had two episodes, you know, I, that are, I guess, that are, I think are perfect to watch, say, for Halloween, like, there was the, the first one is, uh, the Wire Wolf, you know, uh, Space Ranger Ty Parsec being turned into a, a, uh, Wire Wolf, you know, half werewolf, half, bu uh, robotic, you know, and because he was bitten by Nose4A2, and, uh, yeah, some of those episodes of Nose 4A2, really good, too, and they can be, I guess, perfect for Halloween, so, you know. Um, and there was also a follow-up, and that is a sequel to, with The Wire Wolf, and that is Revenge of the Monsters, because, like, Nose 4A2, he gets possession of Ty Parsec again, with a piece of the green moon that turns him into Wire Wolf, because he puts that around him, because it's like a necklace, and he, and Ty Parsec, he turns back into a were into Wire Wolf, and, Joining uh, Nose Four A Two and uh, Ty Parsec now turned back into Wirewolf X, uh, is XL, and they take over uh, Planet Z and they basically boot out. They boot out uh, Zerg, you know, and uh, soon, uh, soon after, because Nose Four A Two, he they he starts building, they st starts building a, a machine that basically will turn everybody else in the galaxy into wire into wire wolves, you know. Uh, but yeah, those were good, and even, uh, Wirewolf, cause Ty Par, Ty Parsec being turned into Wirewolf, he's redeemed, like, he snaps out of it, and he, he defeats Nose4A2 once and for all, and even XL, he joins the good side again, and joins Star Command again, uh, 
but yeah, so those were good too. Um, but yeah, that's all. That's that's all I can think of for uh, like say Disney. That is, you know, Disney Halloween related stuff. You know. Also, uh, the Thomas the Tank Engine Halloween, uh, related episodes, like, I remember because there, you know, even, there's, there's, I even have this, you know, because there was a DVD of, of a bunch of Halloween related episodes, you know, even Pop, uh, the one with, uh, Pop Goes the Diesel, uh, it's the, it's not, it's the sequel, it's story number two, I think that's what it's titled, Pop Goes the Diesel, or it's something else. Uh, that was apparently featured on the Halloween DVD of Thomas. I don't know why, but, you know. But some of the Thomas, uh, the Tank Engine Halloween episodes, like, of course, Percy's ghostly trick, you know. We know that one, and, like, Percy, he he pranks Thomas, you know, pretending to be a ghost train. And then there was, uh, there was the one with, uh, Thomas, Duck, and Percy. They were at the smelter's yard, you know, and Thomas teasing uh, Percy, you know, and then per Thomas getting scared as well when he's left alone at the smelter's yard, and because of, uh, uh, the island of Sodor having, uh, the fireworks, well, basically Sir Topham Hatt's fireworks, and then there was, uh, Thomas and the, uh, the, uh, the dragon, you know, I think that could be, isn't that technically a Halloween kind of episode? I, I guess, you know. Uh, then there was Toby's Great Discovery, uh, that, yeah, that can be kind of, yeah, that's kind of a Halloween kind of thing, and then Duncan gets spooked, yeah, that too, that could be, that's also kind of Halloween-ish, you know, <laughs> and then there's the one, uh, because I really can't remember the name of these episodes, I don't know, I just, it's a bit of a, I just, uh, I really, I just, I can't remember, uh, but, um, the, there was also the one with, uh, Thomas and Emily, they get spooked by, uh, by Ari and Bert, because they're at the smelter's yard, you know, and uh, a sheet or blanket, you know, like, falls on Emily, and she thinks, you know, the ghost, it's got me, and she starts running, and Thomas thinks Emily's the ghost, even Ari and Bert think, thinks that Emily is is the ghost, too, you know, um, but it was all, it was all Ari and Bert, it was Ari and Bert who started it all, so, you know, even Sir Topham had, he sets Ari and Bert straight, so, yeah, so, and I really can't remember that much on, uh, oh, yeah, because, like, I was taught, I was j jumping right into the, uh, like, say, you know, if any, uh, uh Halloween-related Halloween episodes, like, you know, with the C, with, when, when it turned into CGI. But before I get to that, because I remember there was another one where, like, Diesel, where Devious Diesel, like, messes around with Thomas, and Thomas gets, scared Diesel 10 back, you know, by, being covered in, uh, flour, not flour, but, uh, uh, quarry powder, whatever it's called, if you get what I'm saying, I think it's flour, I'm, I'm pretty sure, and Devious, Devious Diesel does get scared, so, you know, uh, but anyways, but with jumping, okay, but jumping into the, into the, uh, when it turned into CG, like, there was one where, like, Henry is glowing, you know, I remember, th I vaguely remember that one, but yeah, that one, so that's one, but I can't remember, I can't remember what else there was to when it turned, when it went straight to CG, any, if there was any other, I'm sure there was, but I just really can't remember, so, yeah, but, uh, anyways, so, uh, is there anything else I'm missing, because I'd like to at least talk about one other thing, uh, I don't know. Well, okay, because, like, um, you know, I do remember this because, like, jumping back to Cartoon Network, uh, because I do remember, like, even, I remember that Goosebumps, you know, like, from the 90s, that it, it was, uh, on, uh, Cartoon Network. I do remember that, because I remember seeing, I remember seeing the promos and such for Goosebumps, uh, you know, because, say, because, you know, because when Clone Wars was on Cartoon Network, and, uh, I remember seeing the promos and, uh, and commercials promoting for that being on Cartoon Network, so, you know, uh, you know, I do remember that, so, and I'm also trying to think of what else, like, uh, oh, I can't remember, like, say, what if, like, say, uh, because I'm trying to remember, like, say, uh, I know, I'm, I, 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 I should know, because, like, I know that, like, say, with the Muppets, they've had a couple of Halloween stuff, like, uh, especially Sesame Street. They've had a couple of those, I'm pretty sure. 
but uh, oh yeah, also can't can't forget about you know talking about it's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Yeah, of course, you know what can you say about it? It is great, you know, and for it being one of the uh, one of being one of Peanuts' best Halloween uh, holiday specials, you know, along with their others, especially you know a Charlie Brown Christmas and the Thanksgiving special. So you know, uh, yeah, that one is good too, and uh, you know because Li- uh, Linus, you know, waiting for the Great Pumpkin, and we see we, this is actually and yeah, this is the first time because we see Snoopy as the World War Flying Ace, you know. And, uh, yeah, so, okay, yeah, okay, is there anything else I'm forgetting, uh, uh, yeah, because I just, again, this is just a random review, you know, just reviewing a bunch of stuff, you know, reviewing a bunch of random Halloween specials, uh, yeah, so, but, uh, I'm trying to think. Well, okay, because, like, there was also Mostly Ghostly. Uh, I've only seen... I've seen the first one. Like, I, you know, I watched a little of, say, the second one, and not so much on the third one. Uh, but uh, the first one was was okay. Like, uh, I remember, because it, 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 had, it had aired on... It's been show, It had been on Disney Channel many times, so... Uh, don't people often mistaken, mistaken it for, like, say, a Disney Channel original movie? Because that's kind of like, it kind of feels like one, don't you think? I don't know, but, uh, you know. Uh, but a couple of other, like, I also remember that, that, uh, because, speaking of Disney Channel, because jumping back to that very quickly, because I remember, I do remember this, like, that one, uh, episode from That's So Raven, that was Halloween, like, Raven and Chelsea, they turn into cows, you know? And, uh, like, even Corey, and there's even, also during that, because, uh, uh, also centers on Corey and his dad, you know, of trick-or-treating and such, you know, uh, so yeah, that, that was a pretty good episode, too, um, but yeah, so, uh, is there anything else? Well, also, very quickly, the SpongeBob, uh, Halloween episodes, like, I remember, because the very first one, as we all know, because, like, Spongebob, he's trying to scare a bunch of his friends, you know, and even, the, I think this is even where the Flying Dutchman first appears, and the Flying Dutchman scares everyone at the Krusty Krab, so yeah. And then there was that, uh, hollow, that Spongebob Halloween, uh, special in stop motion with the Flying Dutchman. I don't, I have not, I've not even seen it, I've only seen maybe a few clips of it or something, but it looks pretty good and such. I do remember it's, it's, a uh, Christmas special, excuse me, it's Christmas special, so, you know. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, everything I just everything that I can think of and rev- and review, etc. Uh, for this random review video. So yeah, and you guys let me know what you think. What you think of everything that I covered? What you thought of them, etc. Just yeah, you guys, you guys let me know. Um, and just very quickly, like some of like because. Um, I'm trying to remember, like, you know, I've seen the first uh, Nightmare on Elm Street film. That was, that was not too bad. I need to see, I've, I think I've only seen it once. I need to see it again, so, you know. Uh, and just, and, you know, and as for The Shining and Halloween, because uh, they are good and such, and uh, hopefully me and Little Blue will get to reviewing them soon, so just to let you know. But anyway, so with that, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this random review uh, video of me just reviewing a bunch of random Halloween specials, uh, films, etc. Just, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. So, anyway, so with that being said, uh, again, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this random review. More new review videos coming your way. They're going to be awesome. Keep looking forward, and I'll see you guys in the next video slash review video. Take care, peace out, and happy Halloween.